How cleaners can use neighborhood targeting in their marketing. This is video three. Welcome to the Hitman Advertising Geo Target Marketing Series. If you're ready to get high end clients in targeted areas, this is the third video in our series. And whether you're just starting a business or you've been in business for a while, this is the place to be to be able to learn targeted marketing through online methods. A little bit about me, I'm John Braun and I've been teaching cleaners how to get cleaning clients online and offline for over 10 years. I've written for some of the biggest cleaning trade magazines on how to do marketing and advertising both online and offline and I've taught at many cleaning conventions. This is actually me last month in Las Vegas at the Ice Expo Cleaning Convention where I talked for a room of several hundred cleaners, a packed room full of several hundred cleaners. And I've helped thousands of cleaning companies get a better return for their online and their offline marketing. So this is the third video in our series. If you haven't watched the other videos, go back. The link will either be underneath this video or on my blog. The link to the blog may be underneath this video, but go back and watch those. This video kind of builds upon those and shows you some other things to fill in the blanks on how to do this type of neighborhood marketing. This particular video, we're going to talk about how to do display ads and banner ads to target specific neighborhoods. Now, the first two videos talked about targeting specific areas, but we talked about those through doing Google AdWords and targeting on the search engines and only showing up for searches in specific areas, specific neighborhoods, specific demographics. We also talked about doing it on Facebook ads in specific neighborhoods and showing up only in specific neighborhoods. Now, if you missed the first two videos, it's okay. Go ahead and watch them. I'll wait for you right here. Don't worry about that, but you really need to watch those. Now, this video, we're going to be talking about banner ads and display ads and showing you specifically how to do those in those neighborhoods. Keep in mind, all of this kind of builds upon every door direct mail. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to do every door direct mail with this, but ideally, I recommend that you do because it's a good complement to a good neighborhood marketing campaign. When you do this, this can give you, this type of marketing can really give you the freedom to work for who you want to work for. That way you're not scrounging around for clients. You're not scrounging around for jobs. You are specifically picking who you want to do business with. Now, like I talked about in the other videos, I didn't always know how to get clients in the best neighborhoods. Some of my campaigns didn't do well at all, even though I had a degree in advertising. But I knew enough to strategize my marketing and to strategize to be the neighborhood cleaner and to position myself as the neighborhood cleaner. So I did that through different sales letters, through different mailers, and then eventually when every door direct mail came out, I really capitalized on that. And EDDM has worked really, really great for me and many of my clients. And it's sending large postcards in specific neighborhoods for sometimes little amounts of money. And the thing is, after I've been doing EDDM for a while, I decided that I needed to really develop other ways online to complement those campaigns in those specific neighborhoods. So today we're going to talk about targeting those neighborhoods with display ads and with banner ads. And when you do that, it's really about following your prospects all over the internet. Now, one example is doing a display ad where it shows up on weather.com where only people in that particular neighborhood, that particular area of town, in that particular demographic are going to see your ad. And the neat thing is, is you can do this kind of stuff for very little amounts of money where you're niche targeting in on specific people. In this case, it's CNN.com. And yeah, you can do that. Have your cleaning banner ad show up at the top and you look like you're some big company, but you're really not spending all that much money and you're targeting in on specific people. Now, if you notice here too, the ad calls out specifically even the people in that neighborhood. The other videos, if you remember, we talked about scenic hills and all of the ads. Well, here we are, that particular neighborhood that we're targeting, we're targeting that specific neighborhood here as well. So what I want to do is go over to my Google AdWords profile, and I'm going to show you guys specifically how to set this type of a marketing campaign up. Okay, so here we are. We're going to click on New Campaign, and we're going to pick a Display Campaign. Ideally, you can do several different ones. We're just going to do, for the purposes of this, website traffic and standard display campaign for right now. 
There's other ways, again, you can do this, but we're going to put in our website address and click Continue. Campaign name, we're going to call this Scenic Hills. And here is part of the magic. Initially, we're going to go to Advanced Search. We're going to target in on a specific location under Radius. Now, there's a country club. This is the address that we've been using to kind of go around. It's a country club neighborhood near our shop that we clean for all the time, high-end neighborhood. We're going to put that in here, and we're going to target only one mile around. And we're going to click Enter, and we're going to click Target right here. And now we're targeting only that one square mile. And we can get even more specific with that in just a moment. But keep in mind that's part of the main thing that you want to do at first. That way you're only targeting that one area with the display ads that we're going to actually set up. So pick your language. Ideally, I recommend manual PPC, uh, CPC and uh, do not help increase with enhanced CPC. Now, again, there's if, ands, and buts about that, but we're going to pay for clicks. The average you want to spend each day, maybe $5 is a good roundabout. Delivery method, we'll go ahead and leave that on standard. Add group name, again, we'll probably call this Scenic Kills Neighbors. And here, there's different things that we can pick. By the way, you can actually, and I do recommend that you do a remarketing campaign. We're not going to talk the specifics of that right now, but I do recommend that you still do that, which means marketing back with these same display ads specifically for the people that have already been to your website. And that's a really sweet thing to do too, which we might talk about in another video. Uh, let's pick demographics. So this is the neat thing that you're going to want to do to pick specifically who you're going to be marketing to. If you only want to market to females, you can do that. Uh, a lot of the times that's primarily who hires the cleaning company, but not always. Probably don't want to advertise to anybody under 24 because they're probably in college and don't have enough money for us. <laughs> if you want to target only people that have kids, target parents. If you want to target people in the higher incomes, you can target them. Let's not target lower 50 or maybe even 41 to 50 percent or even maybe the unknowns. And we'll get those. You can even come up here and pick the intent that they would have, possibly, in market audience. You can pick people who maybe are interested in baby apparel, car seats. These people might be fresh, new parents, and so those might be a particular campaign to advertise to and market to. There's also uh, where you can pick whether or not they're looking for real estate. So depending on your ad, maybe you're going to do an ad based on the demographics of pets and so you pick on you pick people only with pets and you do a specific ad for pet stains you can do that as well a specific ad for parents or grandparents people that have kids at home you can do a specific ad for that or if you want to just do a general ad like really the one we're going to do we might want to target the higher income people people that are homeowners people that are in the higher income maybe even just females because they're the ones that normally hire a cleaning company in that case so we'll unclick mail there and even unknown and we'll mark it only to uh, people in the 40 percent or above top income and you might even want to unclick the 31 to 40 percent maybe and then we're going to click done and now we're only advertising to those specific people uh, also uh, we're going to go and pick a amount that we're going to want to bid we're going to probably bid for something like this 45 cents per click and then we're going to upload our banner ad now you can do a responsive ad we won't get into that on this video but you can do that that you're creating one ad and it responds to different sizes sometimes that's the way to go but in this case we're going to upload a display ad that i've already created and some of the times you should go in and create a few different display ads but here we're going to go ahead and do the more popular size which is a 930 by I can't remember the height of it but 930 wide and this ad right here is targeting and specifically calls out like the other ads that I showed you scenic hills the particular neighborhood so anybody that's in that neighborhood or anywhere around the neighborhood is going to be very interested when they see this pop up on CNN.com or weather.com this is very intriguing it's very catching and they really can't miss it and they're, they're they may even click into this just for that and of course here we're announcing in this case for a drawing for a free whole house carpet cleaning giveaway it could be for, don't get bogged down with the offer this just happens to be a display ad that I already have created but it could be for an offer for a free room of cleaning it could be an offer for $25 off of pet stain removal if it's targeting pet owners it could be for a certain amount off cleaning it could be just a general call us for a hundred percent guaranteed 
no spots for turning carpet cleaning, right? It could be for anything, but it should be something somewhat unique, somewhat different. But there you go. The big thing here, though, is you're really calling attention with calling them out for that particular neighborhood, that area of town, because they've not ever seen a display ad with their neighborhood in it, or their even if it's a neighboring neighborhood, because that whole one mile square radius might not just be scenic hills, but it's kind of the scenic hills area, but it might be the neighborhood next to, they might live in the neighborhood next to scenic hills, but that's fine. That steel is an area they're very familiar with, and it's something they would pay attention to, especially if it was on CNN.com or weather.com or something like that. But by the way, too, with those display networks, it's it's several different websites. I can't even list all of them, and sometimes they do even change. But a lot of popular websites, and again, CNN and Weather.com are some of the biggest. But even some local websites on the Google search network and the, and the Google partner websites will show up. Sometimes your local TV station could. Sometimes your local newspaper could, that type of thing. So it's a, it's a really neat way to advertise. So we're going to put that in there, and then we're just going to click on create campaign and the campaign is going to be started now that ad will actually show up on several of the different now which ones kind of depends on how much you bid and what the availability is but a lot of the times it's going to show up in those particular websites and it's a really neat way to advertise specifically to that neighborhood and it's a really neat way to compliment if they've already been getting your every door direct mail pieces why not do something like this to hit them Again, and this can be done so cheap to where you're, a lot of the times we do these campaigns, you're only spending sometimes $50, $100, sometimes $20, $30 a month on being able to remarket back to those small areas because they're such niche down areas. But again, this is about micro-targeted marketing, and that's what I like to do, specifically pick the clients that you're going to go after and hit them in multiple different avenues. So let's talk about some of the top questions that I've been getting on Facebook and via email. I'm going to go ahead and answer some of those. One of the questions that I get is, can this work in a 5-mile radius or 10-mile or, 10 mile or, or entire zip code or an entire city or an entire part of a city? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. And just like you, you saw there in the targeting, you could put in 1 mile or 5 miles or 10 miles. You could also put in just an entire zip code, right? So absolutely it can work that way where you target that in to whatever size that you want the other questions I get is can I eliminate apartment complexes and the answer to that is yes and no uh, there is a demographic that you can pick just for homeowners but as well you can target by the income like we just showed you in the example that we just gave you you can target by the income to where mostly not always but mostly people with lower incomes aren't going to be in apartment complexes therefore you're not marketing to them and again sometimes that's not always the case but at least then you know you're marketing to people with a little bit higher income if they happen to be in apartment complexes but a lot of times that does weed out people that are in apartment complexes so the answer to that is for the most part yes you actually can and a lot of times you can eliminate them by cutting out certain sides of town and certain parts of town by eliminating or not targeting in on the bubble where you know an apartment complex is, is going to be. So for the most part, yes. So the other question I get a lot is, well, what about the offers? What kind of offers work best? Well, one of the best offers that I like to use is either something free, right? And it's maybe a free room of cleaning or a free trial of cleaning, uh, maybe uh, an extra thing clean for free or a $25 uh, amount of deodorization for free that type of thing maybe a free bathroom cleaned or a free small amount of cleaning done as a trial or a certain amount of cleaning f clean free when you come out to do a paid amount of, uh, of cleaning at, for at a paid price sometimes that's a really good way to do another type of offer as well the biggest thing that I recommend that you stay away from is doing what your competitors do so stay away from whole house cleaning for x99 or or five rooms for X dollars. Stay away from that whole concept because that's what your competitors do. That's probably not what you want to do. So that's the biggest thing to avoid. But I like doing the cross-selling quite a bit where you give away X amount of cleaning with the primary type of cleaning that you do. Maybe you primarily do carpet cleaning. Will you come in and also give away X amount of tile cleaning or X amount of area rug cleaning? That tends to work really, really well also. So... One of the biggest misconceptions that I see, though, about this is the setting up of the ads and, and really kind of putting in the wrong thing or the wrong 
offer or no offer or are thinking that it's too hard to really set this type of stuff up. It's not really hard, uh, but really once you know the right keywords and the right process to do this, and again, these videos will help, it, it is really easy. You just kind of have to get your feet wet with it and, and really get your hands into it and start doing it. You just need to follow the simple steps that are really given here. Now, in my coaching club, we're doing an in-depth training that we're actually starting next week. So that's coming up. That's one of the things we've actually been doing training on in my coaching club. So I'm going to be giving you guys some information on that. But it's been awesome sharing and and doing all of this stuff and showing you guys this and getting some of the questions. And I know that these free videos have helped a lot of cleaners that have just been seeing them on YouTube and on Facebook because I've gotten emails from some of you and maybe it's even helped you. If you're interested in taking this even further and taking the next step and learning about how to do this type of geo-targeted advertising or every door direct mail in conjunction with this, I put together an advanced training program for my coaching club members, but I'm also making it available to a small group of other people. It's only going to be available to 20 other people outside of my coaching club, so keep that in mind. It's kind of very limited, but if you do even want to get in my coaching club, there is availability for that. You can actually get into the course as part of the coaching club. I'll put the link to that up here in just a minute, but I'll be opening this course up next week, so if you're at all interested and you've been inclined to join the coaching club now would be a great time for that so i'll put the link up from underneath here and in fact the link is hitmanadvertising.com forward slash coaching i'm going to be making another video in another week or so about voicemail messages and how you can leave automatic voicemail messages as well in those neighborhoods and that's something that's kind of coming up as a sideline about how to do that and kind of a system that we're launching to be able to do that where you're basically calling these people this isn't something to abuse and do all the time but maybe once or twice a year letting them know that you've been mailing them you're the neighborhood cleaning company that way it's dropping directly to their voicemail if you're wanting to do some extra new different kind of technology that could be really neat so that'll be coming up too really soon but i'd love to hear about what you've been doing to target neighborhoods and really what you've gotten out of these videos. Again, look for another email from me coming next week on Tuesday, but we're going to be launching the neighborhood online marketing package where we're specifically marketing online. And it's going to be something something new, something different, something that your competitors aren't doing. So uh, I recommend that you that you do this type of stuff. I always like to try to find out what my competitors are doing and do something exactly opposite. That's always what I've been about. So look for that coming soon. But in the meantime, like this video, give me some comments, shoot me an email, give me a message on Facebook. I want to know what you think. Let me know. And we'll talk to you guys really soon.